I've been learning geometry nodes for quite a while now and what I've noticed is that it's often difficult to get the selections right in the first place. So that's why I developed an add-on that makes it much easier to recognize indices. But let's have a look together after the intro. We are in Blender now, and for those of you who don't know how to install an add-on, here's a quick recap. Go to Edit, Preferences, and under Add-ons you can install your add-on right here. And also make sure that you have it enabled. As you can see, we now have a tiny little panel in the corner of the Geometry Node Editor. And you can enable the add-on by pressing I on the keyboard, or by clicking the button. And as you can see, we now have indices for each vertex of the mesh and if you go to this little arrow you can open this drop down menu to change some settings for example the colors for vertices edges and faces and then you can toggle whether you want to see the edge indices or the face indices as well then you can also change the label size and the outline size Then the whole point of this add-on is that you can see which index belongs to which point. So for example you want to move this point up here, you can enable the add-on and you see alright it's the index 2. So you can change it to 2 and if you enable this one you can see this exact vertex moved along the z-axis. You can change it to the zero as well if you want to move this one instead. Uh, and the whole point gets more obvious if we use, for example, a, a Bezier curve, which has thumb thickness. So I use the curve line to extend the curve along the x-axis. And as you can see, we now have each vertex with its indices right here. And what we want to do is to display at first the edges and we want to separate the outer edges and the inner edges. So as you can see we have 1 to 8 and then 9 to 17. So and if you look at our vertex count we have 20 vertices. So we can use the domain size on the curve mesh, curve to mesh. And because each edge uses two vertices, we can subtract two of them and compare it. And if we use this one to the edge, separate, you can see we now have separated the edges of the outside and the edges from the inner side. And it's fully responsible, as you can see. Um, that's the whole point of this add-on. And one downside is that you have to use the group output for now. So if you use a fewer node, it won't work. So you have to connect it to the group output. Um, but I work on this and I hope I get it to work soon. Yeah, this is my little presentation of the add-on. And feel free to comment below what you think, if you have suggestions, ideas, whatever. And I will put the link to download this add-on in the description or the pinned comment. <laughs> 